Hello and welcome back to Prodigy Math. It is great to see you. Uh, here in my game, the uh, Summerfest is still in full swing and I am uh, battling my Apple Pot for the day. Uh, we are going to go ahead and go up this. I think by the time this video comes out, though, the Summerfest might be over with. I am going a little bit crazy with Summerfest fun. I really, really love this. It gets me super excited about uh, the whole summer math thing. So here is Apple Pot, and we are going to go ahead and have pool party number two. Looks like both of us know what's happening. So uh, let's go ahead and get our splish splash on, guys. All right, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and um, yeah, you'll be able to come back for some more math fun. All right, so here we are going. We are looking at graphing and data collection today. So this says from the graph, determine how many fewer people picked mint than strawberry. Okay, so mint, we are at 13 for mint. Strawberry is 20. So what we're looking at is 20 minus 13. You can write it out. There are tools. I haven't used my base 10 blocks for a while though. So let's go ahead and use these. And so we have 20 minus 13. Now since we're subtracting, we can go ahead and we don't have to put the 13 out really. We can take away our tens place. So that would leave 10 minus 3 left over and so for our 13 if we're subtracting 13 1 2 and 3 double clicking changes our manipulatives to here so that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 left over so uh, from the graph determine how many fewer people picked mint than strawberry seven fewer so let's cast that spell Ooh, remember fewer means less and let's see what we've got here. 27.99. It looks like one more hit for Apple Pot. And that will go ahead and get us where we need. 20.57. Nice hit, Apple Pot. Nice hit. I think this one is going to do it for us, though. From the graph, determine how many fewer people picked dog than fish. So we have five people that picked dog. Fish, we follow this line over. That is seven. Seven minus five. That's going to be two. It's a difference of two, so two fewer. Woohoo! Awesome. So we have this spell right. Apple Pot should be running away. If you haven't, if you didn't get Apple Pot this summer, do not worry. Um, you will have an opportunity to get Apple Pot next summer. He's, he's, so he's around almost every single summer. All right, some extra coins here. It looks like we're probably hitting 66 today, which I am super excited about. We got 200 gold coins and 10 sand dollars. That's awesome. All right, so now we are going to go ahead. We're going to head back to Skywatch. We're 70% done with Skywatch. We're getting pretty close to getting the uh, gem here. So let's go ahead and come over here. We'll talk to Broccoli. The win machine. You got this, Wiz. Benny didn't even let us talk to Broccolina. Okay, so Wind Machine is next. We've already freed the Snow Machine and the Rain Machine. So let's go ahead and uh, free the Wind Machine from the Grumpy Clouds. The clouds with the frowns that are upside down. Okay, up over here. Over, we're actually don't, we don't want to go in here kind of making our way over this way. Thanks a lot for doing that again. It's awesome. Let's try to click right over. Nope, you're still having us come on in over here. Okay. I... Yeah, they're still doing it. I don't know what's going on today. Okay, let's creep down a little bit over here. A little bit over here. Good, good, good. We did not trigger the battle. That is awesome. Come on over and 30 gold coins and 10 arrows. Fantastic. All right, let's take the One of my favorite sounds in the game. Okay, so we're gonna make it all the way over here. We are gonna have to get into a battle right here. I love the little like antelope leap. It's very graceful. Love to see them as guys move. So two hyphons, supernovas all around. 
What is the least popular color in the data set? So orange is going to be our least popular. That's the smallest number. Only five people liked orange as a crayon in their box of crayons. So orange is the least popular. Least and less. All right, it's going up, it's going up, and it is boom, coming down. 27, 80 points of damage. Way to go, guys. Ion Cannon is coming at us here, and 1836 points of damage. I think one more Supernova, and we should be good to go. Okay, what is the most popular kind of equipment in the data set? So we're looking for the highest bar in the bar graph, and that would be right over here. The tennis ball would be the most popular. That is 17, football is 16, jump rope is 15, hula hoop is 14. So tennis ball is our most popular. That is the winner. All right, up it's going, and... And that looks like that should clear both of them. So see you later. Enjoy them galloping off. We won. Thanks for your help there, guys. 21 battle stars here. And we got the Scoville as part of the uh, Summerfest rewards. So quite excited to add Scoville to the team. 200 gold, 2 sand dollars, and 20 arrows. That's awesome. We're, we will have to have a sand dollar buying party pretty soon. All right, let's come on over here. Okay, so we need to clear this off. It's 15 arrows and 50 gold. Pretty good one there. All right, let's go ahead and trim this up. And here we go. Ooh, that is a chilly cloud there. Okay, so another cloud battle is coming our way. Let's start out with our falling star smash here. How many people picked football? Football is here in the red. It goes all the way up to 18. So 18 people picked football cast our spell. Making sure that you're on the line and you're measuring down and your eyesight doesn't move are some of the important things to do as you're looking at that. And let's see. Ooh, chill out. Boom. 13, 22 points of damage. I think we've got this one. Falling Star Smash. Here we come. How many people picked purple? So the first thing we have to do is we have to make sure the color purple is what's measuring purple. And it is. So 10 people pick purple. All right, cast that spell. Just in case there's any trick questions, or the person making the graph wasn't paying attention to what they were doing. And let's see, chill out again, and it missed. Falling Star Smash, here we come. Your group completed a survey of students' future careers. Fill in any missing information on the bar graph Click on the gray area above the category to sh category to shade in the missing bar. Your group's results. Five students want to be a scientist. So five want to be a scientist. Two students want to be a coach. Four students want to be a baker. So that would be up to number four. Three students want to be a doctor. Okay, so that is our bar graph. A lot of scientists. Must be doing some pretty cool experiments there. All right, and chill out. 13, 27 points of damage. Falling Star Smash, here we come. Create a bar graph of the data. So we're gonna be looking at this and we are going to be recording the data. Uh, click on the gray above the category to shade in the missing bar. So 16 students like fiction. What do you guys like? If you go ahead and leave your answer in the comments. 15 people like nonfiction. And then, of course, comics come up with 20. So 16, 15, 20. All right, that is a representation of the students and what they like in the class. It's so easy to see when it's graphed appropriately like that, isn't it? And here we go, chill out, 13, 15 points of damage. 
Falling Star Smash coming again. So this is a line plot, and each one of these X's shows uh, one person that, uh, or one thing that was this distance uh, of a mailbox route in kilometers. So in this line plot, how many mailbox routes have a length of one kilometer? So we're gonna count, this is one kilometer, we're gonna count the X's and then that's gonna be the um, mailbox routes. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six routes that have a distance of one kilometer. Cast that spell. Woohoo! Awesome. 31, 32 points of damage. That seems like that should be the end here. Oh yeah, that is awesome. We won. Way to go. 21 battle stars and... Are we gonna do it? Ten more. Yes! That was enough to push to 66. Awesome. 116 hearts there. Let's open up the chest. And there is another sand dollar with 100 gold coins. Awesome. All finished. Let's head back, okay? That's so cool looking at the tornadoes inside of the glass that's blowing out all of the air, creating the wind. I just love this. It's so, so cool. Okay, yeah, let's uh, hit next, and yeah, let's just go right straight back to Benny, guys. Wow, what a chance! <laughs> Thank you, Benny. Thank you. I'd say it's time for you to learn a new spell. Oh, cool. Strong Storm Relic. That's awesome. Thank you. It's time for you to meet Gramps. All the right. cloud master general he'll know what to do okay so we have to go find gramps we're gonna meet gramps he sits around all day in the factory in that massage chair mm, sounds like a good life there all right so we are going to head over here towards the factory talk to gramps try to figure out a solution with these cool. clouds that are interrupting the weather that are kind of getting in the operation of stormwatch um, we're going to be doing this next time. We'll probably have a little bit more of uh, data relationships and graphing to go over as well. So I'll probably uh, so we'll be go we'll be working on that. Um, be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. I hope you guys, if you are back in school at this point, you're loving school. Um, you're having a great time, and uh, you're looking towards the positive. Okay. Uh, take care. Keep on prodigy on and I will see you next time guys. Take care. Bye-bye.